101 read the given floral formula how many of the following floral features are shown in the above floral formula so you have to identify that how many of the following features you can see in the floral formula tetradynamous condition yes you can see the tetradynamous condition of the stamen a2 plus 4 it means stamens are present in two groups 2 and 4 so this is true parietal placentation no you cannot see here parietal placentation in the ovary number of carpals of course here it is mentioned that two so carpals are two it is correct syncarpus ovary ovary is syncarpus yes it can be seen that ovary is syncarpus shown by the brackets it is also correct estivation of petals no estivation of petals cannot be seen over here so how many features you can see three so the correct option is option number one so, this floral formula belongs to the family Brassicaceae. Let's see the next question. Question number 102. Which of the given symbols represents union of stamens in tulip flower? Tulip belongs to the family Liliaceae. And in Liliaceae, there is a no corolla. So, this option is ruled out as corolla is associated with androsium in this option. Corolla again, so no. Perianth P is attached with the androecium, and this condition is known as epitabulous or epiphyllous condition. So, this is correct. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 103 Indigofera belongs to the plant family which have plants with. Indigofera belongs to the plant family called. Fabiaceae and in Fabiaceae endospermic seeds are present no Fabiaceae such as pea they have non endospermic seeds legume type of fruit true actinomorphic flower no they have zygomorphic flowers cymose inflorescence no they show racemose inflorescence so the correct option for the given question is option number two let's move to the next question question number 104 Match the columns and select the correct option. Sun hemp, it belongs to the family Fabiaceae. So, first matches with B. Option number 2 and 4 are ruled out. Now, second, Gloriosa. Gloriosa belongs to the family Liliaceae. So, option number 3 is also ruled out. Belladonna is a member of Solanaceae. So, third matches with A. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question. Question number 105. Which of the given is an ornamental plant of Solanaceae family? So, you have to put more emphasis on Solanaceae because all of them are ornamental plants. Lupin and Sweet Pea, they belong to the family Fabiaceae. Tulip, as I discussed, Liliaceae. The remaining option is Petunia. Petunia belongs to the family Solanaceae and it is ornamental plant. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. 